Today uh, we are gathered here uh, as a sit-in protest against the atrocities to Maitais, the Maitai communities in Manipur. We have been suffering for long, the last one year, with this uh, ethnic conflicts. Now the situation has risen and, you know, in the periphery area of uh, Manipur, uh, the mighty villages are being attacked with aerial bombings uh, by the narco-terrorism. So this needs to be stopped and uh, such kind of false propaganda in the media, in the national media, we also urge to know the mighty community properly than speak because many false propaganda narratives are going around uh, in, the, in the media, in the news about the Maitei community, which are all wrong. We, the Maitees, have got a long legacy. We, our forefathers, are the rulers of Manipur. If you see the 1862, uh, you know, uh, uh, map of uh, India and Southeast Asia by J.C. Johnson, you will see that in this area of Northeast, only, you know, Manipur, is written the importance of Manipur I'm talking about since time immemorial you know the kingdom of Manipur is being mentioned there and our forefathers our forefathers not just in Manipur but beyond Manipur has has given an impact in their times like the Manipur levy which was which was which was started in in Silhet now in Bangladesh we still have our Manipuri communities there so my days we are very uh, uh, you know, friendly, and we are very uh, 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 a kind of community that's always having a brotherhood culture. We believe in brotherhood culture. We doesn't believe in uh, terrorism. You know, so with, with with that, I would like to urge you know to stop killing innocent Maite in the villages. Uh, you know, uh, innocent people are displaced in in, in Manipur. This needs to be stopped. So. We, the Manipuri Elders Consortium Silong, would like to urge all the stakeholders to kindly see that innocent Maitais are not being killed in Manipur. Thank you. You told about uh, illegal immigrants and their role in narco-terrorism. So can you explain, elaborate a little bit? See, Manipur has an international border with Myanmar, 352 kilometers. And this area is not well fenced so uh, it's like come in come out you know from the other side it's very easy for uh, uh, you know uh, the, the 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 foreigners to intrude in Manipur this has been a big issues in fact the ongoing turmoil is all because of uh, this illegal immigrants from uh, the Myanmar side and uh, because of that uh, this another second thing that is prevailing is the the, the narco terrorism you know the, 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 uh, into the drug and the poppy plantation in the uh, hill areas of Manipur uh, which is very illegal so such kind of uh, things should be stopped and government should also take action against such kind of uh, uh, you know uh, illegal activities uh, in Manipur so one and a half years now so what is the way out there should be some solution it cannot go on forever <coughs> Yes, that is why we are standing up today here. Civilians need to involve now. So now here today we stand all our brothers and sisters may the same way we would urge civilians from other parts of because most of the youths of the Manipur's are now staying outside Manipur, you know, and with their uh, works, with their studies. So they need to involve. We need to put more pressure to the government to bring normalcy.
So can you also tell us about the students? Uh, many were displaced and uh, they came to Shillong. So what is the future of their education? Yeah, education is very challenging. Right now, you see, today it's curfew. Internet is blocked, as I said. So difficulties are there, but the challenges are there. My days, as you may be aware, most of us are in general category. We are not under the, uh, any uh, schedule, uh, you know, uh, reserved quota. So we have to work harder, you know. We have to work harder for, to get something, to admit anywhere, to get a job. So uh, it's, it's, it's now a more a bigger hurdle for all the students, uh, especially the Maitei students, no, uh, in Manipur to overcome this situation because already they have been facing challenges uh, for their studies. But this is another uh, big impact on them. So I think it will damage the another two, three years of their uh, you know, educational and professional life. Do you think both central and state government doing enough to control and ensure peace and normalcy there? No, we, 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 we cannot say that because right now it's more than a year now. It should have been sorted out long time back. So we urge you know, the government to, to pay more attention and to take more, uh, you know, uh, strict necessary uh, you know, uh, steps to counter the situation and bring normalcy in Manipur.